Hey, my name is Eric from Games from Hyper, and today I'm going to show you a fixed dialogue system or a character voice manager. When I'm going to pause this, it will play a catchphrase, and this catchphrase is call, I call it a fixed dialogue. And a fixed dialogue, it's more about um, a character related uh, standard responses. So, for instance, um, uh, when you see an enemy, you want to taunt somebody, but also when jumping, when grunting, doing an effort, or anything like that, something that you would repeatedly do. That's what the system is for. So this is not for a quest and dialogue system where you need custom uh, interactions, but this is more for the repetitive uh, uh, dialogues. Um, what you do is you um, drag and drop an action component onto your character, and that component actually has a voice attached. So when I'm going to un un uh, unpause this, it will play a fixed dialogue system. In this case, it is a playing a catchphrase. So let's dive into it. If there is music while dancing is short. Yes. That's true. Um, as you can see, it also uh, showed the subtitles um, of the system. Uh, when you first enter the map, you will see the project settings. And I've set up an overlap box. So when you um, overlapping it there, it says fine choice. Um, Time to check the inventory. Like so. So here we have the room on how are we able to um, uh, make sure that this is triggered. So obviously we can use a trigger box like the overlap like we just did, Blended. like this. Um, of course, this is now uh, repeating, but you can just do a Boolean check like do once. Um, but the most important thing and what you will probably use is the animation notify. So in this case, um, when I'm jumping and landing, uh, the character will play a voice and it is playing the voice that's being attached to this character. And we also are able to just trigger it by any event. So as I said, uh, when you see an enemy, you would want to say, okay, uh, uh, play the towns dialogue and here we have a preview of all the fixed dialogues that are included so when we are going to walk in this uh, example room of all the voices um it will of course here <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, she's very happy about this and now i have attached uh, uh, a female voice to this character but I'm also able to switch it easily. So that's the whole purpose of the system. So in this case, we show them the tower of the stars? Uh, I switch it to a male version. And this male version, when I trigger that same overlap box, you can hear that it's playing a different sound. So that's what this is about. So you set up the sounds for a character voice to uh, one voice. And you can reuse these functions anywhere that you want. And it will determine, okay, which character voice do we have? So let's play that one. And I also have the boss one. Uh, the sounds are currently from uh, Paragon. Um, it is um, here uh, as an example, so we can switch between all the different voices. So when you enter this room, you'll see a lot of categories and I've redefine these categories so uh, you're able to uh, adapt them easily to your own game because i would assume that eventually if you make a professional production you are going to have some voice actors you would want them to have some standardized responses especially in an rpg or any other larger uh, world game uh, you can't do anything uh, uh, you can do uh, it all custom so in this case uh, the jump sounds and of course we Oh, there was the lens indeed, so we already heard that. Uh, we have all kinds of health related sounds like uh, dying. <laughs> uh, she she died. Uh, okay. Uh, and now let's get the male voice. Let's die. It's not over. It cannot be. So like that. Um 
There's also the briefing low health sounds. So let's test another pause, the boss one. So now we are getting buffed. I gain strength. Yes. <laughs> nice. Um, of course, when you are suffering, uh, when you kill somebody, uh, leveling up, combat related, like attacking, blocking, um, emotion based. So the catchphrase is what we uh, heard earlier uh, from the start. And uh, let's get the female one now. Too tight, it snaps. You say refined. When I was a girl, a bird land. You say refined. And as you can see, you can also um, use a cue that has randomized uh, uh, sounds to it attached. So not every catchphrase uh, it should be the same because you would want some variation. Um, of course, the pain ones. And abilities. They should be afraid. Um, so the efforts that is of course the one that you will be using a lot in your game, especially when uh, performing a heavy action uh, or uh, just a small one. Um, Team-based sounds, um, some status effects like oh, I'm, I'm sensing danger, Best something like that. that one for later. Best leave that one for later. Uh, briefing sounds for running uh, using the last one the last charge. cooldowns Patience. Uh, choices like confirming Excellent. mana so yeah I think that's about it so as you can see it contains a lot of voices and a lot of sound waves uh, you can adapt them to your own really easy and really quickly and specifically uh, set up voices for any type of game really and uh, make sure that they are enabled in your animations like um, uh, jumping is uh, i think very important for the immersion of the game so yeah um, i think that's about it uh, now i will round this video up Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, I hope you liked it. So please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.